Welcome back to the studio. Today we're going to be building a dining table using our new large cabriole leg, part 1090. Stay tuned for some tips and tricks and we'll be right back. So this is going to be a pretty simple, straightforward build. As I said, we're going to be using the new large cabriole leg from Osborne, part 1090. The large cabriole leg here is a five inch width, but we also have a three and a half inch width, part 1190 on our website as well. I'll leave a link to both in the description and you can check those out. We've went ahead and got our base made in poplar. We also have a white oak top that we're going to be adding to it. So we're going to be painting our base and then adding just a natural finish of our white oak top to give it that nice contrast. As with all Osborne table base kits, you're going to get your corner blocks, your necessary skirt boards that have been mortise and tenon and pocket hold for your top, and you're going to get the necessary attachment hardware for the full kit. Now we've assembled several of these kits on the channel, but let's go ahead and go through it so we can start finishing our top and base. Okay, so now that we have our skirt boards attached, we're gonna go ahead and install our corner blocks. To do this, we're just gonna take the supplied bolt and washer, and then place our corner block here on the threaded insert in the leg. And then we're just gonna tighten that down. This is a half inch bolt head, so you wanna make sure that you have a half inch wrench of some sort. Tighten that up, not too tight, just enough to give it some stability in that corner. Now, once we have that done, all we have to do is install the supplied pan head screws. Now our corner blocks are installed, I'm gonna go ahead and go around and do all four corners and then we'll get ready to start painting our base. Okay, so now that our table base is fully assembled and ready to be finished, we're gonna go ahead and move on to our top first. Now this is a 40 by 60 wide oak top. Um, we've had this made for this project. Um, like I said, our base is made out of poplar, so what we're gonna be doing is painting the base black uh, with a nice semi-gloss finish. And we're actually gonna be doing a natural Danish oil on this top. So first we're gonna sand our top to 220 grit and then we'll apply our Danish oil. Essentially what we want to do with this Danish oil is flood the surface and wait about 10 to 15 minutes and let the wood pours soak in as much of the oil as they can. Then we'll come back and flood it again um, and go over it with our rag. And we'll keep repeating that process until the wood can't hold anymore um, and it starts to sit on the surface. Then we'll buff it off and make sure that we have a nice clean uh, slate. And then we'll go ahead and apply our, uh, our polyurethane on top. So as I said, for our table base, we're going to be doing a semi-gloss black paint. Um, I'm just, I find it easiest to use a paintbrush with this. You could use a roller if you wanted to, depending on the style of leg you have. But um, I'm going to go ahead and get this base painted and then we can get ready to assemble uh, our top and our base. Okay, so now that we've got our top and our base finished, we're gonna go ahead and attach them together. Now, as I said, this is a 40 by 60 inch top. Uh, for our base, we went with a roughly four inch overhang on each side. Um, so I went ahead and centered that up. Our base is completely centered on our top and ready to be installed. Now all we have to do is take these supplied screws that came with your table base kit uh, and install them with our pocket holes and then our table will be finished. That's gonna wrap it up for this episode of The Builder Studio. I think the table turned out great. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're interested in any of the products we use below, like the new large uh, cabriole legs, part 1090, I'll leave a link in the description, as well as a link to more info on custom table bases from Osborne Wood Products. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment if you have any ideas for future builds, and we'll see you next time in The Builder Studio.